Hello everyone, my name is Evelyn C. Puentes. I am an OT student at Stanford University at Alhambra. I got this uh, wonderful opportunity to participate in the California Campus Community, sorry, in the California Campus Compact Community Engagement Student Fellowship. Uh, in this program, I got to serve 50 hours at a nonprofit organization called Higher Ground. So let me just tell you a little bit about Higher Ground. So Higher Ground is a community organization that serves veterans of different ages and different abilities. They use recreation therapy and sports and continued support to help veterans enhance their quality of life. Uh, I participated in different activities. Uh, and, and one of the one of, <laughs> different activities and different events uh, one of the events I got to go to was their rock climbing program. It was at the Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, and this event, in this event, I was able to speak with the veterans, uh, join them in their social activities and help prepare for any equipment and food and just watch them rock climb. Uh, I also made uh, phone calls in preparation for the event and just phone calls, uh, thanking them for their contributions. Uh, just a little bit more about the event. Uh, I was able to uh, join them, as I mentioned, and I got to see them all climb and I got the opportunity to, to speak to them, conversate, get to know their stories, their experiences, and what uh, made them the person they are today. Uh, I think it was, an experience of lifetime because uh, before this program, I never had the chance to uh, speak to the veteran community and I just learned so much from them. Uh, I got to see, when I saw them rock climb, I got to see their, their strength and perseverance and in anything they do. Uh, these, these rocks were very high and big and and very challenging. And I saw them and I saw each and one of them reach the top of, of the rock. So it was just an amazing experience to see that and to just get to know them better. Uh, so uh, this program has had a very positive impact on me because it allowed me to step out of my comfort zone and learn uh, about a different community outside of my own. Uh, so it, it just taught me that every person, despite their abilities, deserves to reach their full potential and just participate in activities that bring them joy and bring them purpose. Uh, I feel like this is something that I will always keep for the rest of my life. And it will certainly help me as I, uh, as I become a future OTA. So, uh, as I mentioned, um, I, I'm an OTA student, and I feel like this experience uh, has actually prepared me uh, to become a more competent OTA. Uh, I'm, I know for sure that I will be uh, encountering uh, different patients, and um, this experience has taught me to be more open to be able to listen to people and most importantly, see them holistically. I feel like there's so many aspects in a person and we can just, we can't focus on just one thing or we can't just focus on their disability. I feel like there's so many things that make up a person that make up the person they, who they are and their values. Uh, I feel like this is something I will always keep and I will always have in mind when I become an OTA, when I'm treating patients. Um, what's next? So I actually, this experience uh, has made me want to just uh, try maybe like work with the veteran community when I become an OTA. I think I just wanna learn more from them. And I feel like it's, it's my goal now to just continue supporting them because 
they uh, served our country. They did so much for our country and for our freedom. So um, the least I can do is give back to them, support them and help them find their, their purpose and help them find those things that uh, are meaningful to them. Those things that bring them joy and bring them hope. So I think that's one of my goals. I want to work with the veteran community as an OTA. Uh, so I'm just, once again, I'm really glad I got to have this experience. Um, so because of my experience in the California Campus Compact Community Engagement Student Fellowship Program, I got to uh, gain knowledge and insight of a community outside my, outside my own. Uh, I feel like this is very important for me because uh, I feel like if we're able to be open, um, listen and learn from one another, I feel like we're able to create a unity within each other and acceptance. I feel like um, every person deserves to reach their full potential. Every person deserves to feel like they belong somewhere. And um, this uh, experience has taught me that no matter the differences, no matter the disabilities, no matter the age, uh, every person has that potential to do what's important for them, to do what brings them joy. Um, so this program, I'm very thankful for, for giving me the opportunity to just uh, get out of my comfort zone, uh, go speak to individuals I had never uh, spoken to before and just learn from them, learn about who they are and their, their experiences. Um, this will always be in there was this was this was always be uh something that i will always have in mind in not only at at school or at work but also just in life in general i feel like we just need to be more open and just try to learn from our differences because that's how we create a more unified society um so I just wanna thank uh, the CESF program for giving me this opportunity and also the, uh, the nonprofit organization Higher Ground for allowing me to just get out there and learn and engage from the, and engage in the, in the veteran community. This is once again, a very uh, once in a lifetime experience that I will never forget and I will, in the future, I will like to continue just learning more, more about other communities, engaging with other communities and just serving them. Um, I just wanna thank you very, I wanna thank this program and my school for allowing me to participate in this, in this experience. And thank you so much for your time and attention. Thank you very much.